Olympic speed skater Cindy Clausen is one of the most decorated Canadian athletes in history. But since sweeping the podium at the Torin Olympic Games, her life has taken many sharp turns. It was winter of 2008 mm -hmm. and I was in Berlin preparing for the World Championships and I got uh, a text message on my phone from my brother saying that my sister had been in an accident. Clausen's sister was submerged in the frigid waters of Manitoba's Red River for close to five minutes. She lost control of her vehicle and ramped up this pile of snow on the side onto the guardrail and then her car flipped upside down and plummeted to the Red River, which was partially frozen. Two men pulled her out of the river, saving her life. But the real miracle, says Clausen, is what took place before the accident. One was an off-duty firefighter and his car wouldn't start that morning and so oh, that wow. delay cost him time and put him right behind her and at the time of the accident. And the other man, um, for some reason, he took his filleting knife out of his car, sharpened it the night before and then threw it on the front seat of his vehicle and took a different route that morning and he ended up being behind her and because they couldn't get her out of her seatbelt, they used that knife to cut her out. And while she made it out of the water, she wasn't out of the fire quite yet. Lisa Clausen's injuries were life-threatening. It sounded like I wouldn't make it back in time to see her alive and the doctors were offering us zero hope. But they were wrong. Not only was she alive, she was conscious. But four days later, things took a turn for the worse. That was really hard, but um, one verse that kept popping into my head, or two verses, was um, Philippians 4, 6, and 7, which says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition and with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. It was a difficult reality no family wants to face. Lisa Clausen was slipping away. All of a sudden, they said they're taking her, the... Um, the tubes out, they're going to see how she reacts. And two days later, she was um, into step down out of the intensive care unit. Mm. And it was just a miracle. All the credit, she says, goes to God. Yeah. I really prayed that um, God's will would be done here on earth as it is in heaven. And um, I didn't know what that meant, like whether um, she, he was going to take her home or if um, she was going to be able to live another day. Mm -hmm. But I really felt that peace that he gave me and that comfort and strength. It was amazing because when I look back now, I think I should have just been going out of my mind. Lisa recovered and life resumed for the Clausens, at least for a while, until she got news no Olympic speed skater wants to hear. She needed knee surgery. Then that would leave me three months of off time where I could start strengthening it again. Those three months became six after doctors operated and found extensive damage. It meant months of arduous training. It was tough just because I knew that I'd be spending a lot of time in the swimming pool. I'm a terrible swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> While all my teammates were on the ice, racing, competing, um, I was stuck inside on a bike, on a stationary bike. But the downtime, says Clausen, was a mixed blessing. So nice she was finally in school, one place long enough to falling. plug into a church. I don't feel like I'm ever settled in one place. And so it was nice because um, I started up with a new small group in my church and it was just a time of tremendous growth in my spiritual life mm -hmm. and learning so much more about God and, and his love for me. For months, Clausen barely touched the ice, but the pressure was on. The Vancouver Olympics were coming. I was on the ice for a bit and then they took the ice out and then we're into summer training. So I didn't even get to compete or do anything like that and I had to wait until the Olympic season came around. Having lost so much ice time, many doubted she'd make the 2010 Olympic Games. But then, just weeks before the Games, Clausen made the Canadian Olympic team. It was incredible. I couldn't believe it. Um, I was just so grateful that God got me back into some form of race shape and to be able to represent my country in Canada at the 2010 Games was unbelievable. She didn't win any medals, but that doesn't matter, she says. Just being there was a personal victory. It was such a battle to get there. When I look back on that whole year of rehab, um, sometimes I wonder how I got through that. <laughs>
the only thing that had me going was that I knew this is where God wanted me to be and it was an honor to be, be able to put all everything into training and mm -hmm. for him and um, so going to those games um, it was really special to me. Even more special she says were the fans who made it clear they didn't care if she was on the podium or not. The Canadian fans were just crazy. They were so supportive of us no matter what. And stepping onto the ice for the first time ever at those games, it brought a tear to my eye just because the crowd was so supportive. Though her sport is her passion, Claussen's first devotion is her faith. Whatever the challenge, she relies on one person to get through it, God. Well, one thing that I absolutely know about myself is that I'm weak and I know that he is strong and I know that he's faithful and um, that I need him in everything, every aspect of my life and he cares about every detail of my life and uh, I think that's so great about our God. For Clausen, faith and action go hand in hand. Off the ice, she's an in-demand speaker and spokesperson for the Christian Blind Mission. They do a lot of work around the world for um, like forgotten children and those are children who may have disabilities and so CBM goes in there and finds them and, and tries to help them. To just give it up to him. Tonight, and she's helping raise money for families in Honduras really at the Spirit and Sport Christian Celebrity time. Dinner. Um, it's an annual fundraiser for Carpinteros and Friends, a microcredit union. Ken Vanderland is spokesperson. Cindy is, uh, is a Christian, uh, is a role model. Uh, she's a, uh, a great champion and so we took her for this year. Each year the event features auctions, pro sports figures and one high profile Christian athlete. Sports is for a lot of people and sports celebrities are a main drawing card and so we had some good connections and that is how it got started and it started in a small way here with about I believe it was about a hundred and fifteen people and we're now four or five hundred people that are showing up every year. The goal is to raise $45,000 for microcredit projects through live and silent auctions. To help do that, Clausen donated her locker from the 2010 Vancouver Olympics. Around Clausen, talk of the Olympics is never far behind. Inquiring minds want to know, will she skate at the 2014 Olympics? Um, right now, um, I'm taking it one year at a time and I'll see how God leads and I feel like he wants me to be training this year and, um, and I'll see if I qualify for the World Cups. Her knees will likely never be the same, but that doesn't matter, she says. Her life and career are in the hands of a higher power. If God ended my career, even like at Lisa's accident, um, I would still have so much to be thankful for. Mm -hmm. um, everything that he's given me, and not just in speed skating, but also just my family and, and just having this life to live in Canada. But I mean, most important thing is just the salvation through his son, Jesus Christ. Clausen's Olympic story isn't over quite yet. In November, she placed second at the Speed Skating World Cup. It was her first time at the podium since the 07 and 08 season, proving that despite the challenges she's faced on and off the ice, she's still Canada's golden girl. In Hamilton, Ontario, Bridget Entry, 100 Huntley Street.